Hey guys, welcome back. I was wearing this look on my Snapchat the other day and the amount of requests for this tutorial was insane. So here I am today creating the tutorial and I did have it paired with a nude lip. So I am gonna be giving you guys two different lip options in this video. I just had to use this new lip color from Karen and the I Love Sarai ColourPop collection. Um, if you guys don't know, I Love Sarai is Karen. <laughs> I always just call her Karen, but her handle on Instagram is I Love Sarai. For her birthday, she came out with another lip color with ColourPop and it is called Arriba and it is the most stunning shade of red I mean I'm at a loss for words it's so beautiful and it looks good on everyone it's just she designed it to look good on everyone so it's such a beautiful red and it totally transforms this look into an evening look so take this as a daytime nighttime look or just a beautiful look with different lip options and yeah if you guys are interested Keep on watching. I'm gonna be priming my skin with the Smashbox Photo Finish Primerizer. I've already put a good dent in this. Do you guys see that? I've been using this like crazy. I absolutely love it. So I'm gonna do two pumps of this primer, but I'm also gonna mix in the Marc Jacobs Do You Do Drops to add a little bit of an illumination to the skin. So I'm gonna go ahead and mix these together and apply them all over. For my foundation today, I'm using the Laura Mercier Flawless Fusion Ultra Longwear Foundation. I have to breathe after that one, it's so long. And I'm mixing the shades Macadamia and Dusk. These two together give me a really nice olive tone. And I have tried this foundation on multiple occasions and it really does last a long time. It is a matte finish, which I normally am not drawn to matte foundations whatsoever. They just don't look good on my skin. They tend to feel really heavy and my skin just feels drier underneath a matte foundation. Um, but this one is really thin. When it goes on the skin, it still looks like skin and it doesn't look overly matte. It's not overpowering. It just looks like natural skin. I don't know, I really uh, like this one and I keep using it when I know I'm gonna wear my makeup all day long. Um, same thing with the Dior Star Foundation. That's another great option if you want an immediate dewy look. Um, that stays put all day. I would recommend Dior Star if you want a matte foundation that lasts all day. I recommend this one and I can still get a little oily, um, but this one just keeps me looking a little more matte a little longer. <laughs> and I'm gonna apply it with my fingertips first. I kind of like shearing it out that way and warming up this product and then I'm gonna blend it out with my Ofra Perfecting Puff. And then to conceal and highlight, I'm using Tarte's Shape Tape in Light Medium. This one is also pretty matte, so I don't wanna use a lot because if not, I'll feel dry. So I'm just gonna apply it underneath the eyes and then whatever is left over, I'll apply to the center of the face. Now to set everything, I'm gonna be using the Laura Mercier translucent powder, even on the eyelids because the foundation is acting as a primer, so I really wanna set that in place. And then on the rest of the face, I'm gonna be using another powder with a poof. Don't know which one yet. I'm staring at the La Mera one, but I keep using that one and it's really expensive, so I might grab another one. But for now, I'm gonna start setting with the Laura Mercier one while my eyes aren't creasing as much, or I'll still take this side and just blend out the creasing and then set. Because if not, you set those creases in place. So always make sure you pick up the excess first. And I'm actually just gonna stick with the La Mer powder. Since it's already here, I'm just being lazy. I don't wanna get up. Just a lazy kind of day. And I'm gonna take the poof and apply this to the rest of the skin where I didn't set with the Laura Mercier powder. Always refrain from using a setting spray or a hydrating mist. After applying powder, I know it's really tempting because you look super powdery, but anything that you apply to the skin on top of a powdery finish, like bronzer, blush, and highlight, anything that's a powder formula is going to blend a lot easier on top of powder versus skin that is moist after having used a hydrating mist or a setting spray. So just keep that in mind. Um, for bronzer today, I've been dying to use these new Make It Forever customizable powders. So they look like this. Obviously this is the blush palette or the blush powders, but they're all the same size and they're customizable. You can put whatever colors you want in these little palettes. I have one over here that only holds two and it has the two bronzers. So I think I'm gonna use, I don't know, I feel like they might be two. These look more like contour powders. I might have to grab another one. But I think this is a really cute concept. So all of these are customizable. So you can either put them in a single compact like this, a triple compact, or a double, or even one of the really large palettes. So I thought that was a really cool concept and I just really wanted to use them in a video, um, but I just don't think the color's gonna work. But I'm still gonna use the highlight and blush, but I'm gonna grab a warmer bronzer. Okay, so instead I'm gonna be using the Makeup Forever Pro Bronze Fusion in shade 20M, which shows up a little warmer on my skin. And then if I can, I'll contour with those powders, but they look a little light, but this one I feel like always balances out the color of my face with my body. It's got the right amount of warmth to it.
I went a little too crazy with the bronzer on the sides of the nose, but I'm hoping it kind of just blends itself out once I do the rest of my makeup. If not, I'll blend it out later, hopefully, if I remember. Um, but now I'm gonna go in with one of the Makeup Forever blushes that I showed you guys earlier in the little customizable palettes. I think out of these three, I'm gonna use this one right here. I don't know the names, I'll flip them over and include them in the description box. But this color right here is a soft pink with a gold peach reflect. It reminds me a lot of NARS's orgasm. So because I'm gonna be doing a red lip later, this one is gonna go best with a red lip. So I'm gonna go ahead and apply this to the cheeks. This actually goes on really soft. I was expecting it to be super pigmented because I picked up a lot on the brush, but it's almost like a really nice sheer blush. I really like it. And before I use the setting mist, I'm gonna go in with a large fluffy brush and buff all the way around. Someone did ask me if I had a dupe for the La Mer brush that I normally use, and honestly, you guys, it does not have to be this really fancy, expensive La Mer brush. Um, I just happen to have this one, but any large fluffy brush should do. I have one right here from Hourglass, which I'm assuming is also probably really expensive. I have one from Sigma, which is decently priced. I have one from Tarte in their Unicorn collection. I have one from Luxie, which is really affordable, and there's a bunch of Mika fur on this one. So any large fluffy brush should do. I'll use the Luxie one today just to give you guys another option. Um, as long as it's domed and not tapered, and all you do is just go around the face in circular motions. And then I'm gonna be using the Elsie Hydra Enhancer Alkaline Facial Mist to tone down the look of powder and also to further intensify the highlight. Uh, this is a good way to intensify a highlight without having to actually wet your brush or apply a cream highlighter. Um, spray yourself with a mist, wait till it's almost dry, and then go in with the powder highlighter. So I'm gonna add this and then wait a bit um, before adding the highlighter, which is also gonna be the uh, Make a Forever one from the customizable palettes or customizable powders. I'll have to find out the name, I don't know the name of that. And I like doing the highlighter before the eyes for this look because I kind of sweep it over the eyes, I start with the high points of the cheeks and then I go like this and just kind of go over the eye. I don't know, it creates a really nice effect when you're not wearing eyeshadow. And that's it for the skin. I'm gonna go ahead and fill in my brows off camera. I feel like you guys have seen me do the same brow routine now in a ton of videos. I'm using the Dior Brow Styler. So I'm just gonna go ahead and do it off camera really quick and then I'll be back to finish the eyes and the rest of the look. Okay, for the eyes, I'm gonna be using that custom palette I went over in a previous video, the one filled with Makeup Geek shadows. And all you really need is your favorite transition shade. It could even be your bronzer or contouring powder. I tend to always use, okay, hold on, I need to go over here. I tend to always use this one right here, which, or this one, either one, this one or this one. But I think for today I'm gonna use this one over here, which is either Latte or Frappe. Latte. So I'm gonna be using Latte, and all I'm gonna do is apply this to the outer portion of the crease with a large fluffy brush. So I'm just starting with the outer corner and buffing it into that outer corner of the crease. And now that I'm looking at it, I think I might have used a lighter shadow for this, but either way, same technique, still works. And I'm also gonna apply the same color to the lower lash line. I just switched over to a smaller brush so that I don't get too crazy with it. So now I'm gonna create a really soft wing using a black eyeshadow. I'm also using um, Corrupt from my palette down here. And you just wanna grab an angled brush, one that you would use to apply a normal gel liner. And I'm gonna pick up some of that shadow, really dust off the excess. You don't want a lot of black eyeshadow on the brush because if not, it won't look as soft. And this wing is only gonna go halfway across the lid, so I'm gonna start right here with the outer portion. And then flip it and bring it back in this way. And this is about where you wanna stop. You don't wanna bring it in any further. And then you just wanna create the little flick. And then to further soften out that wing, I'm just grabbing a angled brush and further buffing it out. Now, what I think really completes this look are the lashes. So I'm gonna apply Velvet Noir Mascara by Marc Jacobs, and then I'm gonna pop on these lashes by Velour in the Extra Oomph. I love these. I love the fact that they're a corner lash, they're not a full strip, so they're really comfortable, and they really do add that extra oomph, as the name says. And for the lower lashes, I'm actually gonna use the Tarte Lifted Mascara. I just feel like it looks a little more natural since it is an espresso color. And it also doesn't transfer as much because it's extremely waterproof. And then I'm gonna add the lashes. And I'll do it before and after so you guys can see how amazing these corner lashes are. 
Okay, so here's the before and after. This side has the lashes on, this side doesn't. And you can see it just adds that little added bit of flair to complete such a simple, basic makeup look. I just, I love these. I need like 10 more pairs. I almost forgot, I also wanted to add the highlighter to the inner corners of the eyes, so I'm gonna go ahead and pop that in the inner corners. Ooh, I had never used this brush for the inner corner. It's so nice, it's like life-changing. Why did I never use this one? This is the Urban Decay, the finger brush, F110. It fits so perfectly on the inner corner. Gotta add my clear brow gel. As always, I'm using the 24 hour brow setter by Benefit. I don't know if I ever confirmed it. They did change the name of this. It used to be called Ready Set Brow. Now it's 24 hour brow setter. It totally threw me off when I saw the package. I was like, is this a new brow gel from them? I almost forgot another step. And this one is optional. You don't have to do it, but if you want to make the eyes look more open and awake, you can always go in with a nude eyeliner and apply it to the waterline. This is Fake Awake by Tarte. So I'm gonna go ahead and apply that to the lower waterline. And for the lip, I'm gonna be using number 36 or number 20 uh, lip pencil by Bite Beauty just to outline my lips. And my newest discovery, this amazing lip balm by Becca. It is the Becca Lush Lip Color Balm in the shade Cafe. I think it's Cafe Oulat. I'm just gonna call it Cafe. <laughs> but it's this really pretty sheer lip color that is essentially a lip balm with color and it's really hydrating it's a perfect nude uh, neutral and it's just a really uh, great lip color for everyday wear so i'm gonna outline my lips first and then apply the lip balm And for another lip option i decided to add karen i love that i use lip color newest lip color with ColourPop. Arriba. Is this not the most gorgeous shade of red you've ever seen? It is so perfect and it looks good on every skin tone. She did a really, really great job creating this lip color. It's going to be added to my staple reds, definitely, faux show. And that completes today's tutorial. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Honestly, this look is gorgeous on anyone. It's so simple, but it just, I don't know, it speaks for itself. It's a really beautiful look. I definitely recommend getting the extra oomph flashes. Honestly, I add them to every look and it completely changes everything. And adding this amazing red will totally transform this look as well. So I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. As always, like, share, subscribe, hit that notification bell, and I will see you in my next one. Bye, guys.